Hey, what's up guys, Synapse here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do procedural C4D topography. And if you guys wanna see some examples, check the description for a link to my website so you can see some downloadable examples of what this looks like. The reason that I wanted to learn this method was I came across this really cool video in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I noticed they were using this procedural method and I was like, how did they do that? So I did a little bit of research and I came across some tutorials and by the way, I learned this method from Grayscale Gorilla, and they were inspired by Lee Griggs, who does some amazing procedural work in Maya. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a plane. So I'm gonna go here to the objects, add a plane, and here under display, I can display using a quick, quick shading lines, and that allows me to see the segmentations in the plane. So the width segments is 20 by 20, but let's increase things a little bit. I'm gonna go 1000 by 1000, and I'll go 100 by 100. Next, I'm gonna go to simulate and I'm gonna add some hair. So I'm adding some hair objects and you can see that it added over 10,000 hairs, which is fine. Under root, I'm gonna go to polygon center and you can see it changes the hair to be in the middle of the polygon. That's gonna be really important for matching colors later on. For segments, I'm gonna choose one segment under the hairs, I'm going to go to root and choose as guides. And under generate, I'm going to uncheck render hairs. Type is going to be square. I'm going to leave single object selected and I'm going to select end cap. So now I've created these objects for every one of the segments on this plane. I could add more segments. I could say 500 by 500 segments. Go to the hair object, increase this to 250,000. And now I've got a lot more of them. I'm gonna reduce the length a little bit just for this example. And now we're gonna go to the hair object. So looking at the hair object, I'm gonna go to thickness and I'm gonna choose 1.9 by 1.9. And the reason that I choose this number is because it's really close to the size of these segments. Now, if I go to the top, you can see that there's just a little gap between each one of these squares. If I were to say two by two, they would probably touch just right. But I'm gonna use that little gap to create some shadows. And it's gonna create some awesome contrast. Uh, for the Fong tag on the hair, you can delete it or you can check it Fong angle zero. Now let's add the image. So under the hair object, I'm gonna go to length and I'm gonna assign an image to the length. I'm gonna use the pumpkin example because it's got some cool contrast. So once I add this to the length, the image is pretty dark. So you can see that the length of these hairs or cubes is really low, except for in the center where there's a lot of brightness and you can start to see the outline of the face. Okay, this is great, but it has no color. So now let's add the color. I'm gonna create a new material and I'm gonna select the texture, effects, and pixel. So we're gonna pixelate this image. If I click on this cube right here, I can select the image. I'm gonna select the same image that I used on the hairs. And now this image is pixelated. My strategy here is to make the tile length match the number of segments that I defined on the plane. I started off with 100 by 100, but then I went up to 500 by 500. So that's what I'm gonna use here. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the plane and then I'm gonna drag the material onto the plane and I can see the image appears and it's pretty close to how we would expect it to appear, but we're not quite there yet. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the projection to a flat projection. So it looks a little wonky here. And if I switch to texture mode, I can see that it's not quite in the right orientation. Also select enable axis modification. And I'm just gonna roll this over to negative 90 degrees. And if I hold down the shift button, it will snap to negative 90. And I'm gonna right click on the texture tag and say fit to object. And bam, the projection is now flat. It's fitting to the object. I can disable axis modification, go back into model mode. I'm gonna drag this material up to the hair and then enable it. Voila! There we have it. So there's a couple of things that you can do to make this look super cool once you have your image matched up to the hair and everything is all set up. So if I just render it 
the way it is now. Uh, we get a pretty cool effect because the material uh, has a lot of reflection on it. I choose Beckman, Roughness 10, Reflection Strength about 50, uh, Strong Specular. You can play with these to get the look that you want. So it gives it a really reflective look. But there's something else that you can do to make it look really cool. You can add ambient occlusion. The ambient occlusion works really well with this because it really brings out the edges and it brings out those gaps in between the cubes. One more thing that looks really good with this I found is the physical sky. So you can add a physical sky with the time and location about high noon. Now I'm gonna add a camera, maybe use a 25 millimeter wide angle lens. This should give it a cool effect. And let's render that. And now it's got this metallic look, which looks really, really cool. We can take it one step further and use the physical renderer, maybe with a little depth of field and uh, add a focal point and maybe a f-stop. Now let's render that. And we should get a pretty intense depth of field effect. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a like and let me know in the comments what you think. If you want to download this project file, check the description for a link to my website. Members and Twitch subscribers can download this project file as well as many other project files. And being a website member and a Twitch sub is one of many ways that you can support the content creation. Thank you guys for the huge support. I really enjoyed hanging out on the stream, making this with viewers. I'll see you next time. Good luck and have fun.